In this video, we're going to learn how to get started with a 2.7 inch ePaper hat for the Raspberry Pi. We're going to configure the Pi and download a Python library so that we can use it to display images on the display. This ePaper display can be found in my little Amazon shop. All right, let's do this. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using the 2.7 inch ePaper hat, a Raspberry Pi single board computer, and a USB to Ethernet adapter since my laptop computer doesn't have a native Ethernet port. One great feature about ePaper is that it can hold images even in the absence of power. A downside of the display is that it's a little bit slow to refresh. We can go ahead and connect it on top of the Raspberry Pi. Then I'll plug in my Ethernet to USB adapter and finally connect power to the Pi. In my computer, I'll open up a terminal and the first thing I'll do is obtain the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. If you want details on how to do this, make sure you visit my other video. The link is in the description. I'll go ahead and use that IP address to SSH into the Pi. The first thing I'll do is run an aptitude update. Next, I'm going to need to install a couple of things. First, the developer branch for libjpeg. Then, using the python package manager pip, I'll go ahead and install a fork of the python imaging library called pillow. This library is needed for the actual library that we're going to use for controlling the ePaper display. I'll need to enable the SPI interface for communicating between the Pi and the ePaper display. I can do that through the Raspberry config menu and once I'm done, I'll need to reboot the Raspberry Pi. It'll log me out, so I'll need to wait a few seconds so that I can SSH into the Pi again. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and download the Python library that we'll use to control our ePaper display. It actually works with a few other models, including our 2.7 inch three color display. The easiest way to download the library is by using Git. I'll create a directory called work and inside that directory, I'll use the command git clone to download the library. Once downloaded, issuing a list show command, I can see all the different models that are supported as we saw in the browser. I'll go ahead and change directories into the 2.7 inch ePaper underscore B and its subdirectories Raspberry Pi Python. Once there, I can see all the different files that are going to be used for running the demo code. Now that everything is set up, I'll simply need to type Python and the name of the script that I want to run, which is main.py. If everything goes according to plan, I should see different objects displayed on the ePaper screen. As I mentioned before, you can see that it takes a relatively long time for the image to refresh and be displayed on the screen. Nevertheless, as we see in Kindles and other devices that carry this type of displays, the contrast is very high and the objects that are displayed are really sharp. We can take advantage that this is a three color display and have different parts of the screen color differently. And there you have it. Really quickly, we've been able to set up our Raspberry Pi to control the 2.7 inch ePaper hat from Acrobotic. If you like my videos, I invite you to my Patreon page where you can chip in a buck or two. That really helps me put in more time into the videos and release them quicker. But whatever you do, don't forget to like, subscribe, or leave me a comment. 
You can also interact with me on social media. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and you can even use the community tab of the channel. Thank you for watching my videos and I will see you next time.